Hi, I'm Matthew Lazenby, and together with Ryan Shackleton, this is Detecting Solar Panels in Satellite Images Using Machine Learning, under the supervision of Professor Abel Ramuelo. The main objective was to build, implement, and train machine learning models which detect and determine the density of solar panels within a satellite image. Three models were established, a random forest model, neural network model, and support vector machine model. Furthermore, a web application was developed and a framework for upscaling was established. A bit about the data. 170 gigabytes of external satellite images were made available. These files were converted from the enhanced compression wavelet files to tag image file formats, which allowed us to store these files as raster images. QGIS was used to create shape files, which created labeled data. A bit about the models. The random forest model has the highest accuracy at 94%, neural network model at 93%, and the support vector machine model at 91%. The sensitivity and specificity of the models show that there is a relatively low prediction of false positives. The ROC curves for the three models are seen here. Our final product was a successful detection of solar panels in satellite images and the determination of the density of these solar panels. The random forest model was fast, accurate and veridical, meaning that this model was most applicable to real life problems. We developed a framework for the potential upscale of these models. I now hand over to Ryan Shackleton to walk us through the web application. So. Once the models were built and functioning as intended, we deployed some select visualizations onto a local web application. Rshiny was the package used to develop this application. Once the app has been launched, it will open up onto the Overview tab, as you can see. The Overview contains a summary and objectives of the project. Included in this tab is the City of Chuane map. The area circled in red and shown up close, is the area used to train and test the models. This area was chosen due to its high density of solar panels, and the area is a 5 km by 5.6 km area. On the right is a paragraph explaining the map, and below is an explanation of the three models chosen. The three models chosen were a support vector machine random forest and neural network. On the left, you can see a tab for each one of these models. Clicking through each one, you can see they have the same structure. Each dash dashboard will contain an instructions tab, a make a prediction tab, and the model performance metrics specific to that model that shows the accuracy of the model, the ROC plot, and the confusion matrix. The random forest dashboard will be used in this demo as it is extremely fast prediction time. To make a prediction, the user simply must click browse, which will open the user's local directory. Here they must navigate to an image they wish to predict. However, it must be noted that the image must be in a TIFF file format. Once the image has been uploaded, as so, it will say upload complete. To start the prediction, the user clicks start prediction. It will take a few seconds for the random forest to generate a prediction. And when the image has been processed, the spinning wheel will stop like this. Click show prediction to see the results. The solar panels will be shown in red, as such. To compare this to the original image uploaded, one simply needs to click Hide Prediction. The single KPIs below summarize the solar densities of the specific area within the uploaded image. Predictions can be made multiple times, however, the refresh page needs to be clicked after each image prediction, as such. Now, navigating to the last tab of our Shiny app, it is the Previous Reports tab. 
This page is for additional information in case users would like to know more about the project. It contains our previous reports and the user needs to click on the report they wish to download, like this. A PDF version of the report will be downloaded and can be viewed as needed. This concludes the presentation of our project and Shiny application. Thank you.